give me one minute i am just opening the slide so that uh, i will share you what we will be covering in course syllabus what is nutanix Are you able to see my screen? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, can anyone tell me what is Nutanix? Do you know what is Nutanix? And why it is in demand now? Why? Because Nutanix, it was already in place um, near about 10 years. Since 10 years, it is more than 10 years, it is in use. Oh, do you know? Can anyone tell me? What is Nutanix? Okay, I will tell you Nutanix. Nutanix is a hyperconvert storage device. It is nothing but uh, like it is uh, also called as like uh, <clears throat> storage as well as inside the storage. There is uh, uh, like the virtual switches. CPU. RAM. Everything in, in, in traditional virtualization it is uh, placed on different server. Some sometimes SAN storage get failed, sometimes CPU get failed, sometimes network issues, sometimes like there are too many issues occur, right? So to uh, overcome that issue, this uh, Nutanix uh, they have uh, invented this uh, storage box. This is like virtualization storage box. So <clears throat> Nutanix, what we will be covering, we will be covering introduction model where we will see what is central. Nowadays, we are deploying the Nutanix uh, cluster so that you can uh, deploy the Nutanix cluster in a cloud, AWS cloud, Azure cloud, and you can integrate both together, like integrating your existing Nutanix on premises Nutanix to your cloud. And vice versa you can you can do so many things like data protection replication dr site so many things you can do in nutanix so we'll covering managing the nutanix cluster model like what is exactly the cluster there there could be three node cluster four node five node six node cluster right but why why this nutanix enterprises cloud administration why we are using the cloud in Nutanix. So when you are using cloud, means you are in future, you will integrating with the cloud. You, you can expand your uh, on-premises cluster in a cloud. Okay, Secure, securing Nutanix model, networking, we'll see how the subnet, how the uh, like uh, VLANs can be divided, how you can configure different, different VLAN according to your infrastructure like uh, vm management uh, there are some like uh, additional uh, additional feature here in uh, like nutanix hypervisor so whenever you are creating virtual machine it gives you like uh, fl flexibility like scale out scale in scale out uh, you are like uh, affinity rule you can you will have the option to affinity like uh, if the node goes down where should be your vm should run health monitoring in the health monitoring alert 
this is the main feature in Nutanix, where as in your on-premises VMware, you will not see any like health, health monitoring. You'll open, even if you open a vCenter, you'll not see the, what is going on, right? It is task is running, but exactly what happened behind that, it, it will not uh, share with you. But in Nutanix, uh, everything, it will show you in detail how many storage are in use, what is the throughput, what is like um, storage, networking, um, their heartbeat, everything running inside your um, Nutanix, it will show. So like it is like uh, more user friendly, you can say more user friendly uh, where, uh, in alert system. So if any go anything goes down, like your host goes down, your like any CPU, DIM, uh, or any uh, virtual networking, one NIC failed, or anything alert comes, no, it will give you alert. You will receive email, proper email, so that you can take immediate action on that. And there are too many, too much like failover, high availability feature available in the Nutanix. So I will tell you whenever the course will start, I will tell you in detail how you can monitor health, how you can configure the alert, there, how many types of alert, there are like different, different um, PowerShell command, like v, VC, VCLI, that is like connection, it is like command line tools, on this command line tool, you will run some command to troubleshoot, even if you are working on Nutanix L1, L2, so I will give you the hands-on on Nutanix so that you will troubleshoot the uh, existing issue, whatever the issue like P1, P2, uh, like VMs, uh, VM are running slow, it is not getting migrated, and the performance is degraded, um, CPU um, the utilization is getting high. So these kind of issues you can monitor, you, you need to run some command inside the VCLI so that you'll come what action you'll come to know what action you need to take okay so uh, distributed storage fabric model like in the storage see this is the main uh, this is another main feature of Nutanix where the distributed storage like all the storage are controlled by the storage controller that is called CVM CVM it is managed by the CVM and the storage, it will create a pool and this pool is divided into small pieces and that small piece is assigned to virtual machine and host, right? So these are like your SAN storage, but it is more than your SAN storage. It is not nothing but your SAN storage. It is more than the SAN storage. There are too many features. There are too many process running inside, like Zookeeper, Zeus, and uh, Stargate. So these are some different, different process. Their tasks are different. And uh, this, like they have, uh, if you know, nowadays the artificial intelligence are like, is booming, right? Everywhere you will see chat GPT, uh, like artificial intelligence, automation, too many things are you thinking, right? But here in Nutanix, they have implemented this process. Like inside their, they have their own process, like Nutanix processes, like Zookeeper, Stargate. These processes are very smart, intelligent. They take their own decision. They have their algorithm, algorithm written inside. So why we need to remember these processes? Because for troubleshooting, if something goes wrong, wrong, and you need to troubleshoot why my VM is not moving to another host, why my um, um, storage is not giving the high throughput, is there any problem? So you will find. So there are some troubleshooting command I will give you, and in and out like everything I will teach you in detail. So every see Nutanix uh, is. Uh, implemented in previously you might have heard about like AS400 mainframe they are in banking 
they are the, mostly every bank every like every, uh, every capital market they are using the mainframe as 400 but now they are migrating from mainframe and from as 400 to nutanix why because there are high throughput this um, this nutanix is very fast as compared to your traditional box so hyperconverge you might have aware of hyperconverge every company every organization they are um, creating hyperconverge i will give you some of the idea on other hypervisor like cisco um, cisco hypervisor VxRail hypervisor and uh, Azure Stack. There is another hypervisor you might have he heard. Every company nowadays, every company they are using this kind of hypervisor. So what is Nutanix? New inside Nutanix, there are some storage. Why we are using the Nutanix? Because Nutanix is smart. It is like they are using SDD, SSD, flash drive all together. So whatever the your hot data, like running data, it will run on the SSD, whatever your cold data, it will run on your SDT or all flash or whatever very old, old data, very cold data, you can migrate that data that will be running as it is running uh, in the organization. So it will be running in the cloud. So you need to migrate those data to cloud. You will get some uh, like <clears throat> feature to migrate all your data to the cloud. So AHV, what is AHV? It is a um, Acropolis hypervisor. Miss, uh, we see, right? In uh, uh, VMware, we see that we have um, a hypervisor. Hypervisor is ESXi, right? So same like uh, in Microsoft, we have hypervisor, Hyper-V. And in Citrix, uh, ZenApp is uh, hypervisor, Zen server. So same like uh, in Nutanix, they have their own hypervisor, AHV, AHV workload migration. So some of the organization, they are already using AHV and they want to migrate it to AHV to ESXi and some of the organization, they are using ESXi to AHV because more user friendly, Nutanix is more user friendly. They cannot manage, they're having only one data center guy and they don't want to keep the data center guy all all the time uh, monitoring this ESXi server. If they if they migrate from ESXi to HP, they will get more flexible. Yeah, can you anyone mute yourself? That is your voice. I am getting your voice. Okay. Service model, business model. I will show you the like how many models are there, how many Nutanix models are there available. Data protection, how you can protect your data, their policy, backup policy, the scheduler, everything I will tell you. Prism, there are two kinds of prism, prism central, prism element. In prism central, like how you will manage through prism central, if you are too many cluster, let me see, I'm getting too much voice. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Fine. Fine. So uh, we we were discussing about the prism. There are two types of prism, prism central, prism element, how you, how you can manage prism central, how you can register, how you download, how you can configure the prism central. You'll have too many storage, too many ASXI hosts, too many VMs, uh, uh, memory, CPU utilization, everything if you want to monitor. So this, this is the prism is nothing but the dashboard, which you need to monitor. Uh, and if you want to take any uh, action you can do that like lcm or like upgrade if you want to upgrade if you want to check the alert if you everything you can monitor you can manage through prism only so there are two models like prism central and prism element if you are using one data center you can manage through like prism element if you are 
using too many data center. If you want to integrate too many data center, you can use Prism Central. Okay, maintaining the Nutanix cluster model. How many models are there? How you can maintain life cycle operation? It is life cycle manager LCM is used for patching in Nutanix. So I will tell you how you can patch NCC, Prism Central, migration, upgradation, and shutdown process. Everything I will tell you in detail. So this is our third patch. So <clears throat> I will tell you last time what happened. Last time I um, we had uh, four students. We had given them a free, free voucher and free dumps to prepare uh, NCP examination. So I will teach you how you can prepare the NCP examination, how you can go through each and every question we will be covering how in detail. This will be like 20 to 25 hours lecture. And uh, if you if you are suitable with weekend, we can go for weekend. If you, if you are suitable and weekend, we can go for weekend batches. So these are some like storage product, um, DR site, uh, Prism Central, Self Portal. So <clears throat> everything I will tell you in detail. So networking, what we will be covering, health monitoring, data protection. So this, this thing we will cover in detail. Okay. Do you have any question on that? If you think, if you have already covered, if you think uh, that this point is covering in that lecture or not. Hello? Hello? There are, I think yeah. there are, there are 11 people inside this meeting. So, Share your thoughts on this. What is your like expectation and what oh, I have shared you the course content. So give me your idea, your thought, if you have any question on this. So what I will teach you, how I will teach you, we have like, we don't have, I'm telling you, we don't have like a lab, existing lab. But what I can tell you, I will give you the clear screenshot. And uh, so using clear screenshot, you'll come to know. I will give you some of the screenshot how I'm teaching currently. Uh, in my company, we are using also Nutanix now. So okay. I have little bit of knowledge about that. Like okay. you told me LCM, Stargate and most of things, CVM. How to okay. upgrade patch? Actually, uh, uh, we are taking a support from Nutanix now. Okay. So in this, uh, all did you mention in this? Uh, so I want to know how. Uh, like I want to be. Uh, uh, I want to join a Nutanix. So what uh, requirements I, I have to uh, means like uh, what is the requirement for that now? If I want to, I want to join as a Nutanix engineer on L1 support. Yeah. So the main thing they are asking you is, have you complete your certification? NCP certification. Uh, main thing they will, to face that interview, to get shortlisted in uh, Nutanix, uh, they will ask you whether you have completed okay. your NCP. Okay, this is your for a first criteria to join Nutanix. Second NCP. is, you'll, yeah, NCP. And second is, you should have more knowledge on your mi migration, conversion activity and okay. troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, like uh, what is the procedure to shut down, how to migrate the um, cluster from ESXi to HV, HV yes, to yes, ESXi. Yes. All yes, these sir. things should have like handy steps, how you will capture, yes. which tool you are using to migrate, mm -hmm. all things you, you should you should know then and then only you can crack the interview okay okay yeah okay, and so uh, nowadays nowadays every see you are using you might have been working on the nutanix on premises yeah like uh, right. uh, central prism that you have mentioned a uh, center which we have uh, managing all the resources like uh, storage ram mm -hmm. yeah uh, 
that's the thing but uh, so see in this um, course content what we will be like managing nutanix cluster securing nutanix networking these all are like on premises okay what yeah. else i will be covering how to how you will migrate your uh, on premises to cloud how to deploy the cluster cloud inside your aws whether you are using aws cloud azure cloud gcp cloud or oracle cloud you are using so how you will deploy your nutanix cluster inside that cloud that i will teach you in detail okay. yeah so it will this call means like uh, which you have provided session na uh, that will uh, it it will on uh, like charge based uh, like uh, just like na uh, just uh, um mm, like we have taking it uh, like training is like yeah, that much kind of, have to pay yeah we need to pay see it is kind of training uh, we okay. have already taken so what is the training fees uh, how you can go for it uh, whether mm-hmm. you want to join the weekend class or daily class okay. you can share all this detail with amit okay okay amit okay yeah you can check with amit what is the course fees and this is like course only Okay. Okay. No issue. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Any anybody? If you will be will be starting our class in Italy, like uh, from twelfth uh, of August. Yeah. From twelfth of August, we will be starting our weekend batch. it will be four to five yeah it will be five weekend classes and will be covering all this nutanix now company is not asking you to just for like uh, vmware admin so apart from your vmware admin they are asking too many things on nutanix because every company they are implementing nutanix it is fast efficient and failover high availability everything data resiliency Yeah, all the options are available in the nutanix that is why the banking mostly they are using nutanix so we'll be starting our classes from uh, 12th of august if you want to join you can connect with amit he, he will share you all the detail about the training okay fine any uh, okay, do you have okay, any or do you have any question Anybody? and sir uh, what will the uh, course duration like uh, um, means uh, duration means like uh, how many like uh, 15 days one month two month yeah one and a half month will be cover uh, one and uh, within one and a half month you will be expert in nutanix okay okay yeah Because, uh, i will okay. i will share you all the details how you can manage each and everything i will tell you in detail okay okay sir Okay, fine, fine. Faisal, Sarfraz, Hari. So, can we drop up now? Okay, okay, fine then. Uh, if you are, uh, if you really interested, you directly connect with Amit. He will share you all the detail about this Nutanix course. Thank you, thank you, everyone, for joining this call. Thank you bye bye